Voices, please. In 10 seconds. Camera, stand by. Here we go. Three, two, one. We are live. Housewives drama has Real Housewives of New York City star Aviva Drescher been kicked off the hit reality show? Well, you're about to find out because she's here breaking her silence and setting the rumors straight once and for all. Our next guest, though, is a mother of four. She's an author, she's a philanthropist, and a feisty reality TV star who is never afraid to tell it like it is. You know her from Bravo's hit reality show, The Real Housewives of New York City. Take a look. How did we both meet? He actually came to my salon. How long have you and George been an item? About two and a half years. I normally don't meet my father's girlfriends because there are so many. So it's not unusual that I haven't met her yet. My girl flying in from Atlanta. I would love you to meet her. She's in her early 20s. I don't need to meet the fleeting one night, two night, three night stands, Dad. I'd just rather meet the one that you end up with. Now, well, please welcome a Diva Drescher. Okay, so I gotta ask you about this right off the bat here. Yeah. Your dad dating a, like a 25 year old? Right. How it's, do you feel about oh. that? Well, it's not my first choice. <laughs> but you know, you know, he's happy and they're in love. They're just coming back from Europe tonight. And she's a consenting adult. And you know, my kids love her. And you know what? You know what my cousin Fran Drescher says? Love is love. It's absolutely love. You know, yeah. love is love. Right. Age is just a number. You know? Age is just a number. You know? And if he's happy, everybody else should be happy for yeah, him. And she's lovely, you'll see. She's yeah. lovely. Yeah. But, but I want to know, like, what your father has, like, three must-haves when dating a woman. What do yes. you think those three are? Ooh, I would say uh, young. 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 And young. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, and, and in the end, as like you said, as long as he's happy, you know, because that's really yeah. all that matters. Now, yeah. I, we've got to get to this, though. I know fans of the show, fans of Real Housewives of New York City are wondering this. Rumors are spreading that you're actually kind of slowly leaving the show. Uh, they took you out of the open for the show, even. Um, are there any truth to these, to these rumors? Uh, you know, no. No one knows about the next year until after the reunion. It's kind of like Survivor, yes. as, as well as <laughs> Reality Housewives. Um, and no, I couldn't go to the Berkshires because I had to visit two of my children in sleepaway camp. And my children come first. Yay! And so, Yay! so I, you know, I wasn't in that filming weekend, uh, you know, for two, three days. And I, why they pulled me out of the credits, I, maybe they're just slapping me on the wrist or something. I don't know. They're a little bit mad at you. but A little cares? bit, maybe. They can never get rid of you. you know, and if yeah. they did get rid of me, you know, maybe they'd put me out of my misery. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lead already. Beautiful husband, beautiful children, Thank blended you. family. I'm your. I'm a fan of yours. So Thank you. If they're Thank smart, you. you're staying for good. Oh, Absolutely. thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. So thank you. And speaking of, of all of your your success, you have um, a memoir, of course, now yes. uh, called Leggy Blonde, which is a wonderful, wonderful title, especially thank given you. your situation, because you actually write in the book about the experience of, as I believe you were like six years old, yes. losing a leg in this in a conveyor belt. Yes, yes. How? Uh, what, what kind of an impact did that have on your life? And, 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 and why did you think it was important to share that particular experience with the world? Well, I, I felt it was important to share my experience because I'm, I'm very well adapted to it uh, at this point. And I wanted to give people hope, not only those who are missing limbs, but anybody with a physical or emotional challenge. I wanted to offer hope to people on a grand scale. And, um, and, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I think we all have. We learn from them. Mm -hmm. They make us stronger. And I also oh. wanted to hope, hopefully help people avoid some of the same mistakes that I've made mm -hmm. in my life through the book. So I think it offers that. And, uh, you know, the impact of losing my leg at six years old was uh, tremendous, tremendous, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in both positive and negative ways. Right. You know, the, these, these tragic events have several, silver linings. Totally. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine all, the, all that you have, have been through and the strength 
that that has, I think, brought out in you. It's evident, and, and that's. <laughs> I, I just, I just think it's. You've, you've got an amazing story, and it's it's great to see that you're sharing that. Thank and you. we also, and there was sort of someone with a, with kind of a similar story who was making headlines here recently Thank as you. a finalist on Dancing with the Stars, Amy Purdy, yes. who's a Paralympian, of course, and she made it all the way, as I said, to the finals. She was in the in the top three. Um, I think she was just amazing <laughs> on the show. What were your thoughts um, about her and her performance? Well, I th I think she's incredible and I was so proud that she was there as a double amputee doing this. I mean, you know, I had tingles on my arms. Um, by the same token, I was thinking to myself, you know what? It's kind of normal because amputees can do everything that two-legged people can right. do. So I, on one hand, I was so happy and proud and, of mm -hmm. her and elated. But on the other hand, I was like, you know what? No big deal. Right. Yeah. You know, anyone, Life, you know, we can do it. Life goes on. And, and having said that, you have one of the most beautiful bodies. Oh, thank you. And you recently <laughs> bared your... She recently bared her body in a bikini. And when I say stunning, I this. mean, oh, thank you. how do you stay in shape? My God. That is so My sweet. Thank you so much. I, um, you know, I'm really uh, a bit of a health fanatic. I eat uh, very healthy food and I exercise moderately and I'm always picking up my kids. And, you know, that's about it. That's about yeah. it. It's, um, it's just a lot of, I, I'm very careful. I'm also careful about what I don't eat. I don't eat sugar or mm. dairy and, you know, red meat and things like that. Yeah, do it. But, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. compliment. You know, we don't really <laughs> see ourselves that way. Right. And not only, yeah, yeah. not only that, she found love a second time around at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's I so love this woman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, it's true. Our kids were playing together. We playing met. And that was down it. the aisles. I, yes. I, I, I love your story. It's very similar to mine. But the fact that you, to me, are a survivor. Oh, thank you. You were faced with the challenge. You put it to the side and you move forward. I That's all I That's said. exactly yeah. it. Just moving forward forward and exactly. you know not it's not dwelling well yeah. and speaking of moving forward I know that now you have come out with um, something called tranquil day it's a health yes. formula we've actually got a, a nice um, yes yes this canister is, um, of it here yeah and um, it's right actually here. been it's actually in these smoothies that we that we have here on the and desk which I, I'm all about so tell us a little bit about this the product and, and kind of what the benefits mm. of it are so I, uh, I used to be a real nervous Nelly and if you watch the show you know that and um, and it really, in all seriousness, it was a sort of a post-traumatic stress disorder situation, you know, caused by a childhood accident. And um, in combination with, you know, exercise and eating well and meditation, I developed this product. It's, um, it's called Tranquil Day, and it has calcium, magnesium, potassium, and vitamin D in it. Mm. And it really chills you out in a natural, healthy way. So you get, and it helps you sleep. Uh, so you I, get everything. I know. I'm excited because my husband with my ADD oh. is loving you right now because this is delicious. It it's is, great. It's, You're, it's you can wonderful. put it in anything, and it's it's also very very healthy for you. Wow. Uh, the vitamin D prevents illness, and and Americans are all known to be deficient in magnesium, and it has right. tons of it in it, and it really calms you down. And so if you're taking medication which makes you sleepy and has side effects for anxiety, this is something that can replace that. I love it. And especially if you're pregnant. And you wow. can't take the medication, you can take this. So it's, it's, it's great. It's I love great. it. And, and this is something that I need in my life right now, I know. <laughs> and we don't want our audience to be left out uh, as well because we have some nice, some of these nice smoothies with the Tranquil Day for you to taste as well. So come on out, everybody. Let's <laughs> a nice little taste of it here. Delicious. This is We're also going to send our audience home with some of the Tranquil Day as well. So you're going to get some to take home with you. And you're also getting a copy of Aviva's memoir, Leggy Blonde, which is available <laughs> and in bookstores right now as well. So yeah, the Save the Audience is all about it. Thank you so much, Aviva Thank Drescher, you. for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank you so much. Wonderful Thank for you. me uh, to, to meet you and, and, and you. hear more about your story. It's, it's amazing. Thank you. Nice me to meet too. you both. Thank Thanks you so for having much. me. All right, remember to tune in as well, 9 p.m. on Tuesdays on Bravo to catch her on The Real Housewives of New York City as well. Hopefully, you know, more and more and more often uh, in the future <laughs> as well. Coming up next, should women ever make the first move? Well, Siggy's here, so we're going to ask the expert coming up next. She's got uh, the answer <laughs> yeah. to that question and many more. She's solving your toughest love problems next. Stay with us.